this is the, the concept here is that the brain is an antenna. These neurons, these brain cells are functionally an antenna that tune into the frequency of things and that's how we, and that's how we read, it's how we communicate. I talked yesterday about the um, anthropologists in Brazil talking to the Kyle people about how they could figure out that this root and this leaf could be used to address this ailment and they said the plants told us and we talked about the plants having their antenna here. Um, the idea here is that our neurons, these big long filamentous you know, cells are actually functionally a, 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 an antenna system and that's how we are able to perceive um, other things beyond the five physical senses. De Buhner and his work with life communication sort of deepening this to some degree, Buhner suggests, and I think this is pretty much categorical, that there are multiple organs in our body which are full of these neurons, which means to say there are multiple organs in our body which are full of brains, which are brains, or functioning brains, they're in these antenna systems. Anybody know what those other organs are? The gut. The gut and? The heart. And the heart are both full of neurons. Anybody ever had? That's demonstrable fact. Or demonstrable fact. Yeah. Anybody ever had a gut feeling about something? <laughs> ever, anybody ever made a decision based on a gut feeling? There was, anybody ever known something was true in their heart? Anybody ever make any life decisions based on what they discerned in their heart? <laughs> I would suggest that we operate with these antenna systems almost as a primary mode of perception, but we, don't, we aren't aware of it. We don't acknowledge it, we don't tune into it, we don't communicate about it, we don't share it. We're taught that we have five physical senses and that's the only way we can perceive, and there is no, there is no other reality. We're taught the physical plane is all there is, even though the scientists are telling us it's only 5% of reality. I would pr propose that we are actually constantly perceiving on other realms, and we're making important life decisions from these other realms, and we don't talk about it. And I say, at least let's talk about it. Let's acknowledge it. Let's be present with it. Actually, uh, there is a fourth organ that uh, women have that is full of these neurons. Does anybody know what that is? The uterus is also full of neurons. So we can technically say that then, therefore, women have four brains and men have three, <laughs> which is why you should stop giving us a hard time. We are never going to understand. <laughs> it's simple fact, so just get over it. Like, move on, please. <laughs> Consternation is not helpful.